Hey guys, Dougie Douglas here. I know it's been a long time, but just a little update on what have happened in the past. As you can see, there's a green door that I'm actually sanded right now. 1500 grit. Um, just a little recap on what have happened, you know, in total. So, uh, about a few months ago, you know, I did the intake. Uh, I got a back bumper for it. Uh, things of that nature, you know, I finally got the headlights in. So, thank God I finally got the headlights in. As you can see, the condenser, I fixed the front bumper and the condenser, and the radiator got replaced brand new. You know, it did the whole front end, so that includes struts, brand new struts, brand new control arms, brand new stabilizing links, which I have in the trunk because mine's is actually erased still good bearings and all replaced all that in front you know i already did the brakes and the uh, rotors earlier when i first started the channel new tires all of that wheel alignment all of that then you got then you might be asking hey look how you get a green door and a new bumper what's up with that as you can see i'm sanding it down so long story short um i'll probably put pictures in the video probably will have them pop up uh, I went on a trip with a group that I'm in, and I had the car parked out. Lady blew the light, clipped the pedestrian, and slammed them into this door with the whole car. So the lady got pinched in between her car and my door. Mind you, I was parked on a corner. So what had happened was, I'll, you'll see the pictures, my whole door got destroyed. Bottom up here had the giant down here had the cracks from when the actual other car it was a Nissan hit it my back wheel as you can see it's a little it's not off before it was slanted inwards and what had happened was uh, my rear struts and you know the rear control arms and everything was bent out of shape as well as it pulled a little bit of the frame down which I had to fix when I replaced this so it's a new strut and all that in the back and it ripped the back bumper off. So, I, you know, the back bumper was messed up before, but it completely ripped it. And it dented under it a little bit. So what I did was I replaced the bumper, got it fitted. So as you can see, it's, kind of, it's fitted way better than before. No longer the crack over there. And did the wheels. Now I'm sanding the door down. Wet sanding the door down. And so, yeah, that's what we had today. Uh, Amazon ordered some black primer. And I got the sandpaper. I got the paper for when I paint. You got sandpaper and everything in there. You use a spray bottle. Got a bucket just in case, you know, for the water. And 1,500 grads right now. That's why it's kind of starting to look kind of nasty. You know? It's not freezing cold out, but, you know, New York weather, it starts to get a little bit cooler than usual. So, that's why you'll see it's starting to, you know, as it's drying up pretty quick. But it's not heat quick. But, yeah, so that's basically the update for now. Take your long journey, show y'all the finished product of what I'm done with the door. And yeah. Uh, just a little update. As you can see, I'm letting it dry to see how much clear coat is left. Use the board. That's some of the clear coat from this door. I end up wiping accidentally on that door. So I use the board. You saw it's holding it steady, so when I apply pressure to it, it allows me to get the fluent, you know, swift, swift. This is uh, 150 grit. So I moved from the smooth, got a lot of it off with that, and I'm getting, trying to get the rest of it off, basically. What I'm not going to do is, I'm not going to shave all the way down. I'm not going to shave off the green. Just going to shave it down, shave the clear coat off till I get to the paint, and just spray, you know, the black primer over it. And then later on, I might buy, I already know the paint code already for the paint, so I might buy the paint in a can and just spray it over and just get rid of it. That's a little update for now. I'm gonna show you probably when I before I start spraying it with the primer, the black primer, and then I'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, day later, this is the finished product. I feel like it came out perfect. As you can see, this is how the actual you know, this is kind of the clear coat. I didn't wash the car after, so the clear coat from this door. You know, it's kind of dried up on this door. I'll wash it off later. As you can see, it's over here just as well, but I'll wash it. I think it came out perfect. 
a little bit of mess ups down here with over like the kind of extra layer looks but i even got the handle it's perfect and even the inside of the door black so what i'm gonna do is probably in a few i buy the paint and then just paint over it it's called like Shadow Hulk Black. is a, It's the Honda Civic color, basically. And it paint coat, so yeah. The only thing that happened a little bit like it's uh, since it's windy, a little bit of overspray here and down there. But other than that, I think it came out well. So, next episode, probably you're gonna see me either finish painting this door or new project coming. So, stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.